know that you can make more money, you can attract higher paying clients, and impact more lives when you build a successful store. And you can do that easily using WordPress. So let me just tell you a little bit about myself and why I can talk about this topic today. Okay, my name is Patrick, like you introduced me. And I'm a full-time number one best-selling author, Amazon best-selling author. I also coach people on how to write, publish, and leverage their best-selling books for profiting, to grow their business and all that things, to establish authority, to be the go-to person in their niche. I'm also a business coach and consultant. I help people to double, triple, and 10x their businesses using technology solutions. I'm a website designer and WordPress consultant. So today we're looking at how you can use WordPress to grow your businesses, grow your income, double it, triple it, 10 exit, if you so desire. So this is just some of my books, number one. And it would be lovely if you could tweet during the program, the session, um, at Sweet and Tech, at Katrina Gwali, and you use the WC Jacks hashtag. Okay. If you have questions, um, you could always let me know, or preferably maybe at the end of the session, so that I'll be able to address it all. So I would like to find out how many here are business owners? Okay, lovely. I got a number. How many here um, are designers, developers? Okay. Designers, developers. And um, how many here are maybe internet marketers? You help people, okay? Maybe you use Facebook ads, Google ads to promote businesses. Okay, beautiful. So we have quite a number that are business owners, and we have quite a number that are also designers and developers. So, if you're a business owner trying to make more money and attract higher paying clients, you're going to find this training useful. Another person that will find this training useful is if you're an entrepreneur that would like to impact more lives. You have a product, you have a service, and you believe it can be of value to people, you want more people to know about it, you'll find this training useful. Because this training is about how you could take your business that might be offline or yeah, the physical store and take it online, which makes more people get to know about it. For example, we have this word camp here, and um, there are people here from different parts of the world, including different parts of Florida, and that's simply because they got to know about word camp Jacksonville online, and they got their tickets. So. I'm sure we're definitely impacting lives through this WordCamp. Does anyone agree? I listened to someone yesterday. I was really inspired. I kept telling almost everybody that, oh my goodness, I'm so inspired. I'm so inspired. And I would say it's because I could relate with what he was talking about. So yeah, 
were impacting lives through WordCamp Jacksonville, and that's because they had a store online and they made people get to know about this event. So if you fall into that category, you know you have a cause you believe in, you have a product or service, you really feel you could less lives, make an impact, take your store online, you'll be able to do that. So if you're an internet marketer who desires to sell more, you're going to find this training useful. And you're a designer or a de developer who wants to get higher conversions for your clients, you're also going to find this training useful. Yeah, lastly, maybe you're wondering, I'm not an internet marketer. I'm not a business owner, I'm not necessarily selling my things yet. Am I gonna get a new value from this class? I will say yes, because this class is to help lay the foundation, let you know what's possible, let you know that you can achieve more, you can aspire more, this is what's possible, it's in your hands. So maybe right now, you're actually working somewhere, you have your day job, you have your night job, you have your typical nine to five, and um, you desire more. You want more time with your family, more time to sleep, or you want more freedom. Whatever it is you want, you want to be able to travel all over the world, um, you desire a particular kind of lifestyle, yeah, you're gonna find this training useful. Let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I don't live in the United States. Of course, I got to know about WordCamp Jacksonville online. Um, I actually spoke at WordCamp last month in my own home country, Nigeria. And um, I run an online business. So I'm here. It's not like my business is rounded because I'm in the United States. And that's because I have my store online, either using WordPress or otherwise. So there was actually a time I was working, so this story is going to relate to the person who does a regular job who desires more. Um, I was working as a system administrator in a telecommunications firm. It was also an ICT firm. And um, I was just not satisfied. I was tired. I actually wanted to leave my job. I don't know if anyone here can relate. Yeah. But, <laughs> But the thing is, I looked at it, if I was going to leave my job and I was going to go back home, yeah, my mom was working, right now she's retired, but it wouldn't really be so nice if I had to start depending on her for a living just because I was tired of my job. That's not enough. So it might be okay to say, yeah, you're tired of your job. The question is, what next? What are you going to do if you're tired of your job? Are you going to just say, uh, I don't feel like working anymore. And you resign, you go home, and you start to sleep? Or are you going to say, even if I'm going to leave my job, I am going to find a way of making money. I'm going to find a way of not being a liability, but making impact, helping those around me. Well, fortunately, well, I didn't resign immediately. Um, I got married and my husband was working in the UK, so um, I was able to resign properly, <laughs> not just leave my job for nothing, and I relocated and I started my online business. So that's wonderful, the fact that I was able to move from the state of not being happy about my job, tired, frustrated, being tempted to just drop my resignation letter without knowing what next to do to um, a place where I can have my own business I can choose to travel down here to the United States because I want to because I love helping people build their businesses using technology solutions WordPress and I can choose to do so so if you love that kind of freedom I think you should consider taking your business online Okay, so um, we already have an idea of what I'm going to be talking about, but I will be letting us know a bit more of how to get this done, having your online business using WordPress. 
just in case you don't know, do I think you know? WordPress is an easy to use content management system that you can use to build beautiful websites without having programming knowledge. So in case you're wondering, I don't know how to use HTML, I don't know how to use PHP, all this code, I'm not a typical developer. Well, you could use WordPress to design beautiful websites and you don't have to know all that. You don't necessarily have to know any programming language. So today, um, I'm going to be talking about how you could um, get that store online using WooCommerce. WooCommerce is a plugin, easy to use, wonderful, fantastic. There are actually so many shopping cart software, but WooCommerce has really been so terrific. Everybody talks about them. I'm sure there are some people that don't even know that you could use other things. That's because WooCommerce is like a popular name. So um, we're going to be talking about how you can use WooCommerce. Um, I'm not going to go so deep into, we're not really going to go into the practical sections. I think yesterday we had someone who did show us how to use WooCommerce. But today I would be laying the foundation, letting you know what's possible, letting you know that you can achieve this if you want to, and um, you could always build on it. And if you have questions, you could always meet me at the Happiness Bar or any of the speakers, and I'm sure we'll be answering your questions. So I'll also be talking about how you could use FAQs, frequently asked questions to improve customer service delivery. How to use cross-sells and upsells, what they are, how to use abandoned cat recovery, Facebook ads to drive traffic to your site and sell. Well, there's only so much I can cover within 40 minutes. Oh, I don't think okay, it's working. Uh, within 40 minutes, but I'll try my best. So I'm gonna ask a question right now. What does having a successful site or store mean to you? Anybody who wants to share? Lovely. Lots of sales. Oh. Good. Anyone else? Repeat customers. Wonderful. Wonderful. Lovely. So, lots of sales, repeat customers. Anybody else? Anyone else? <clears throat> Having it set up right and giving the customer a good experience. Lovely. Having it set up right and giving the customers a good experience. Well, like I said, I can cover everything because I know some of you, maybe at the end, maybe you're experienced, you might be wondering, okay, she didn't talk about something. Yeah, I can't talk about everything. But I'm gonna talk about things that I believe you'll still find useful. If you apply them, you would get results. Lots of, um, lots of sales, uh, good customer experience, and um, repeat customers, fantastic. Fortunately for us, Part of what I'm going to be talking about today would cover that. So that's what having a successful store means to the three of them. And I'm sure that probably covers what other people too are thinking, even if they don't mention it right now. So um, what problem am I trying to address with this solution, with my talk? I don't know if you fall into this category. You actually have a great product or service, but most of your target audience don't know about it. You actually think, I have this beautiful product. I really think it can bless lives, but I'm not really getting sales. Well, not as much sales as I would have loved to. Or most people that I know I have the problem, they're not really asking me. Well, maybe they don't really know about your product and service, and you need to get it on the internet so that they could get to know about it. Maybe this is a problem you're currently ex experiencing. Um, people that don't know are not willing to pay you enough for the solutions you provide. Can anybody relate? Maybe you think you have this product, you have this service, but um, the people around you 
don't seem to want to pay you enough. And most times, that's because it's probably not their pressing need. You know, most times people are willing to pay for perceived value and something that is a pressing need, something that is that addresses a frustration that they have. So if you're meeting someone and you're trying to sell your product or service, and it's not really a pressing need, it's not really addressing a pain point, they're not really going to see much value in it. They're not really going to want to pay you what you think it's worth. They'll probably be calling it at a very funny price. But then, if you can reach the people that really need that solution, they'll be thanking you. They'll be like, thank you, thank you, as in they'll be so excited. Why? Because you're bringing a solution that addresses a problem. You're helping, it's like, you know, they'll be so excited, they'll be thanking God, they'll be thanking you. I don't know if you've ever experienced this before, in which you're letting someone know about something, and the person is so excited to hear about it, and that's because maybe the person has been looking for that solution all over the place. Now, if you're gonna tell the person, oh, it cost this amount of money, the person will probably be saying, thank you so much, you're like, oh my goodness, it's so cheap, it's so affordable. But if it's something the person does not need, the person will not be willing to drop their money for it. So, in case um, you fall into this category that people um, that need what you have don't really know about it, and you're talking to the wrong target audience, and therefore they're not willing to pay for it, um, you need to consider taking your business online and also knowing how to reach the right target audience. So, um, thank God we have developers and designers here, and I believe our goal is to add value to our clients. That's how you make your money anyway. By adding value, by helping solving problems, I am someone that believes that, um, well, for me, I'm not just building websites. It's not about, okay, um, I'm building websites for you. It's about you're solving a problem. You're solving a problem using a website. You're solving a problem using WordPress. So you need to know what the problem is. So just in case your client is not selling as much as they would love to, someone mentioned more sales, by helping them take their business online and also integrating several other things, um, they should be able to make more sales. And um, I did mention also ability to drive traffic to the website. So, excuse me. If you're also able not to attend to most of your clients or customers during office hours, taking your business online will actually help them because they can do self-service it's like having an auto attendant. And like you said, I love what you mentioned about having good experience because also that's part of what this presentation addresses. You can help your customers have a long experience by taking your store online. You could integrate different things. It could be like having FAQs to quickly address questions they would have had, objections, so that you could still make the sale proactively, questions they would have loved to ask, you know, or having live chats for engagement, just in case they have questions and they really need to make a, a decision at that moment. So by having some of these things, you're able to improve the customer experience, you're able to attend to your clients even when you're not there. Okay, so quickly, let me uh, um, talk about the, the three opportunities to make more revenue, attract higher paying clients, and impact more lives. Because at the end, it's all about adding value. So, opportunity one, impact more lives. I mentioned earlier, if you have an online store, that means you can impact more lives, you can reach out to more people, from different parts of the world. Opportunity two, attract higher paying clients. You can connect to your target audience, you can connect to people who need what you have and they'll be willing to pay you more because 
um, they're seeing more value in what you have to give. Opportunity three, you can increase revenue. When you sell to more people within the same period of time or a longer period of time, you're able to make more money. Because if your store is online, then that means you have your office hours open practically 24 seven. That means your business is not being affected by different time zones because someone in another time zone different from you can use self-service by your online store to make their orders. And at a later time, if you need to do anything physically, when you wake up, you can get to do that. If you need to send it to um, the shipping location. So if you have questions, please don't forget to write them down so that towards the end, I can answer them, I can address them. Okay, so steps to building successful stores using WordPress. Number one, like I always say, identify your business objective. It's not about just building websites. I don't know, for those of us that are designers here or um, developers, have you had a client just tell you that, oh, I just want a website, and sometimes they don't even know why they want a website. Does anyone relate? Maybe they just want a website because everybody else is getting a website. Or the web, okay, you do, yeah? So, pardon? Wow. Oh. Has anybody else experienced maybe having a client that after one year or two, the client doesn't want to renew their hosting and domain name simply because they feel, I didn't get any value from it? Lovely. I've also experienced that before. You know, and that tends to happen for clients that in the first place didn't really know why they were getting a website. Oh, maybe they did have an idea, but they were not really willing to make the full commitment. Because when you're designing a website, it's an investment. You should see it as an investment, and you must get a return on investment. You should see it that, okay, this is what I would love to achieve. This is my business goals, and by having this website, I should be able to achieve this, this, that. I should be able to get more sales, like you said, or I should be able to give my customers a better experience. Whatever it is, you need to define it. So as a designer or a developer, it's important you ask your, your customers, your clients, those questions um, so that you can help them gain value and have a ton of investment. So, I asked earlier what does success mean to you, having a successful store. Mm -hmm. I said, does it mean automation? Maybe it reduces the time you'll spend attending to customers. Does it mean more sales? You could sell more products within a shorter period of time. Does it mean more revenue? You're able to make more money. Or does it mean improved customer service delivery? That means your customers are able to have a better experience with your business and you're also able to have less support requests. So the next thing you need to do after identifying your business goals, your objectives, either for yourself or for your clients, is to look for the tools that will help you achieve it. The teams, the plugins, the tools, the resources, and um, for automation, Part of it could mean having a shopping cart and um, ability for people to shop online, ability for them to just put their credit card, make payments. Depending on how you, how you have integrated your store, um, if it's digital products, after they make payments, the products automatically get delivered to them. Or even if it's physical products, maybe you're shipping um, provider gets the alert, especially if it's going to be already at the warehouse and they automatically get a mail letting them know that, okay, this product with these details should automatically be shipped to this address. So you can achieve all that using your online store automation. Um, more sales, cross sales, upsells, I'll be talking a bit more about that. If you're looking at having more sales, um, 
cross cells, up cells will be very useful. I think she also mentioned, though she's left now, about repeat purchase. If you love to have repeat purchase, do, this will be very useful because you are able to make more sales most times from your existing customers than from new ones. Because existing customers, if you are giving them a good experience, if you are giving them value, will be willing to buy from you again and again. Why? Because they know you, they like you, they trust you. Most times people get to buy from those they know, they like, they trust. So if they bought from you before, you've given them a good experience, they'll be more willing to definitely buy from you. So for more revenue, you can choose to accept online payments. You can integrate a bundle catch recovery system, improve customer service delivery. You could add an FAQ section. You could add a support ticket system. So next step, I'm going to be assuming maybe we're starting from the beginning and uh, you're wondering how should you get started. So you need to get a domain name, you need to get a hosting plan from a good hosting provider. Um, you should install SSL certificates. So hosting providers will actually give you SSL certificates for free, um, but even if they don't, you can always buy one. Um, it's easier to actually install your SSL certificate before building your site than after <coughs> building your site, now trying to install the SSL certificates. It's a bit more complicated. So you can install your SSL certificate. You install WordPress either manually or you use the auto installer if it's been provided for you, um, if it's been provided on your hosting farm. Then you can install and activate a WooCommerce compatible team. Usually WooCommerce compatible teams are teams that have been um, styled to look good with WooCommerce. So those pages that have to do with selling um, that WooCommerce controls, they will really look nice. So if a team is not WooCommerce compatible, by the time you install it, some, some of the pages might not be looking so nice or attractive, they might just be looking for it. So if you just want to, for aesthetics, you want to make it look good. So you can also install and activate all the recommended tools, and I'll be mentioning part of it. Security. How many of us here believe security is important to an online store? Anyone? Okay. Um, I don't know if we know, but... Uh, because Google is trying to encourage people to secure their sites, regardless of it's an e-commerce store or not. If you go to some sites and they don't have SSL certificates, it's just going to tell you that this site is not secure. How many people would love to go to an online store and see the site is not secure? Would you want to buy from that site? Any, anyone? Okay, because you're going to be wondering, are they going to use my credit card? <laughs> to do something else, you know, because the whole idea for you to sh shop on someone's store is because you want to gain value and not necessarily because you want someone to steal from you. So that's why you need to is, um, you need to ensure that you encourage people to trust you by installing an SSL certificate. But not only that, this aspect right now is talking about security in terms of ensuring that your website doesn't get hacked. So that people don't come to your site and have their information stolen, maybe their credit card details, or come to your site and next thing um, they have malware on their devices simply because they got the malware from your website. That's not going to speak so well. Just imagine someone that gets malware from your site the person can go to social media and begin to just maybe tweet about it or talk about it, that will disturb your site, and they got malware, they got viruses, and that's not going to be very good for your brand. It can actually destroy that person's brand and their sales. So that's why you have to ensure you secure your site. And you can do this using a free plugin called WordFriends. They actually have a premium version, but the free version works very well. So you could 
ensure you download it. It helps to keep your website safe and secure. It alerts you of security vulnerabilities, letting you know if you need to update your teams, your plugins, and um, what kind of, if it's urgent or not, especially if the update is addressing security vulnerabilities. And if you want to know how to download it, you could use that link. If you get access to my slides, you can get that. Or just check the WordPress, um, the Fossi tree, the plugins, you can always download it from there, or even from your dashboard. Okay? So, shopping cart system. I mentioned WooCommerce. I said it's not the only one, but it's so popular, everybody just assumes it's the only one, but it's really good. So, you could always download that. And you can use it to sell digital products. You can use it to sell physical products. You can use it to accept payments online uh, by connecting it to PayPal, to Stripe. And if you want to go old school and say, OK, no online payments. Um, I just want to accept checks. And I doubt you will want to really do that. Or bank deposits, you can still do that if you so desire. Another thing is. FAQs. Sometimes we take it for granted, but it's really good for you to have FAQs on your website. That means frequently asked questions. It can help you to reduce customer service, um, customer support requests. It can help to increase sales conversions. How? Usually when you want to sell, or perhaps you're having a webinar, you're having a presentation, um, part of what you do is you ensure you address objections. You know, people might be wondering, how does this apply to me? Okay, I know you're telling me this thing is good, but I don't think it's good for me. So before they get to the point where they're wondering, I don't think it's good for me, you let them know why it's good for them. You let them know that, okay, maybe this person has tried it before, this person is like you, and it worked for that person, so it's gonna work for you. Another person might be thinking, oh, I think this thing is too expensive. Then before they get to the point where they get to tell you that I think this thing is too expensive, you let them know why it's expensive. You let them know the value they're going to get from it. You let them know why it's different. Because perhaps they're comparing it to something else. So if someone is comparing a Lamborghini to maybe a different kind of car, a smaller vehicle, you let them know the kind of comfort they're going to get from it. Vehicle, you get like let them know the different things they're going to get from it, and that's why it's a bit more expensive. So, by the time they have a better understanding of the value they're getting from it, um, they are more likely to buy. So, those are some of the things you can address. Frequently asked questions could be the questions ordinarily they would have asked you again and again, a question that someone would have loved to know before they buy. If you can put that on your site in a place where they can easily see it, then that means the person can easily um, learn about it, make their decisions on time, and they'll have to think about it and say, oh, I'll come back, then they forget. Also, if you can address the objections, perhaps they'll probably say, oh, I'll probably ask the person later, or they're not even interested in asking that because there's already an objection and they're thinking, okay, I don't think I can afford it, I don't think it's worth it. But if you've already addressed it in the frequently asked questions section, then they now know why they should afford it, or why they now see it as a, an investment as against an expense, and why they should go for your products and services. So even though you might not be there to know what they're thinking, and you might not be there to know um, why you should convince them to buy, because it's not like they're telling you, you have already used this opportunity to sell yourself, to sell your products and service, and let them know why they should choose you, not tomorrow, but today, so that you can have more sales and increased revenue. So live chat. Is there anyone here that has been to an online store before and you would have loved to make a, um, a purchase, you had a question, but there was nobody to address that question, so you probably said, oh, I'll probably get around to it. And you continue checking online, you saw another store, and there was someone who could address that situation on time and just bought from the other store. Anyone here? Okay. 
So more than one person. Now just imagine if that was your store. You probably would never have even known that that person would have bought from you because there was no way to communicate. Unless you say, oh yeah, I do have a way to communicate. I do have a contact form. But yeah, the person really wants to get an answer right now, make a decision right now. Or maybe they say, okay, I'm going to wait for them to reply, but let me just keep browsing. And the person keeps browsing, and the person sees someone to help them. So ensure you have live chat on your site. You could help address questions quickly. So benefits include reduces shopping cart abandonment, improves customer service experience, increases conversion rates, increases the ability to proactively close the sale. And these are some of the plugins you can integrate to help you. Upsells, cross-sells, upsells helps you with repeat sales. So it occurs when um, you want to buy something and they now tell you that, okay, I think this thing will really help you more. It's going to make the experience a better one for you. You're going to enjoy it more. And in the process, you get to pay more. So definitely the owner of the business is making more money from you but they're helping you have a better experience, they're helping you gain more value. So think of it that way. Not just, oh, I want to collect more money from the customer, but that I'm going to be able to add more value. The person's going to see it as a whole lot more value and be willing to pay more. For example, it could be that um, you've purchased your ticket on the flight and they say, oh, would you like to have the window seat? Just pay this token. Would you, have to, would you like to have more legroom? Just pay this extra amount of money. Or, okay, you're at the hotel, and they say, oh, would you like to have breakfast? Just pay this amount of money. Ordinarily, it would have cost so so amount, uh, maybe like $40. But if you're adding it to your purchase right now, you're going to get it for $20. So you, as the service provider, you are actually having making more money, and you're giving the person more value, and the person will save more money. So that's a way to increase um, more sales. So upsell is easier to sell to new customers. It's easier to sell to new customers and it helps you to grow. Cross sales is complementary <coughs> complementary products. So like often bought together, making suggestions. If you add that to your site, you say, okay, you've just bought this bag. You could have this dress along. It looks lovely. Or most people that buy this pair of shoes tend to buy this bag, things like that. So these are some of the plugins or providers you can consider. Abandoned cart recovery simply means you automatically send them an email. Life happens. They go to your store. They add something to cart. Maybe they have a question. Some, something distracts them. And they say, oh, I'll get around to it. Then they forget. But if you have a way to automatically contact them, maybe by sending them an email, sending them a text message, they can get to remember. What some people do is, in this email, you might actually offer a coupon saying, oh, why don't you just come back and buy this thing? It's like you forgot it. And you can have it 10% less than what it was before by using this coupon. So that's a way to increase your sales. Another one could be asking them, did something happen? Did you experience any problems? And they can get to reply you and let you know, oh, yes, I did. I couldn't use my card. It was failing. And that can help you discover issues on your site that probably you didn't know about. Okay, so these are some of the plugins you can consider. Um, you can use promotions, gifts, gift certificates, coupons to encourage people to buy more. Sometimes some people say, oh, just buy this gift certificate. And if you do that, um, every other purchase, you're going to have a discount. Or I don't know if anybody, for designers here, perhaps you want to use Envato um, Marketplace, Tim Forest, and you realize that if you want to pay directly, you are probably going to be paying a little bit more. But if you purchase credits, then you're not going to pay more, and you can use your credits to buy things in the, on their marketplace. Remember, if you're using credits, pay for the credits, you're already putting your money up front. It's like you're paying to the bank. The money is no longer with you. You can get to use that at any point in time. So they're collecting more money up front, and it's almost like you're saving a little less, but you can get to buy things later on. So that way it encourages people to 
drop the money more with you. So ensure you give promotions and the likes. And you can use Facebook ads to drive traffic um, to your store. You target people that visit your website and um, practically follow them all over the web. I don't know if you've ever experienced that before. You visit a particular person's website and next thing you begin to see their ads <coughs> on Facebook, on Google, and other places. And they're like in your face. And that way you get to remember, okay, maybe I should just buy from them. So you can use that to drive traffic. So on the closing note, we have identified that you can impact more lives, you can make more money, you can improve sales conversions, you can improve your customer service delivery, you can attract higher paying clients, you can sell more when you take your business online, and you enable people to buy from you easily. So that will be all. I don't know if you have questions, you can ask me. If you love to, um, there is an ebook I have on essential tools to skyrocket e-commerce conversion rates and sales. If you'd like to get it, you can send me an email, you can contact me, and um, these are the different ways by which you can reach me. Okay, any questions? Thank you. Have you ever worked with affiliates, affiliate programs? Yes, I have. Do you know any good sources? Yeah. Local or out of country? No, are you talking about using um, WordPress, building an affiliate system on WordPress? Right. Yeah, yeah. There is, um, I think, Affiliate WP plugin, so you can check it out. Yeah. You can use that to build uh, an affiliate system. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Yeah, you mentioned having a chat directly on your website. Do you just recommend Messenger, or is there something else that you recommend? Yeah, Messenger is actually good. You could integrate Messenger is good because most people are on Facebook, mm -hmm. so that way you can always continue the conversation. And um, nowadays, people are using Messenger bots to really skyrocket sales. Right. So yeah, Messenger. Fantastic. Can okay. I add to that? Yeah. Live chat is a great solution. And they have an affiliate program, so you can um, bill your clients and then you know, make a little money off of it. Okay. For each installed, you have to register as a live chat affiliate installer. Okay. Olark is another good one, too. Huh? Look into Olark. Mm -hmm. Olark is a good chat system as yeah. well. And any, any chat system that you can integrate with Salesforce, if you want to use Salesforce as a CRM, there's tons yeah. out there. That can, I mean, you can integrate it through Slack or Jabber, mm -hmm. so that way, just like Slack, so you get internally, um, it can open up a chat window as well and give you the details of the customer for you know whatever fields you have them fill out in terms of contact info, so that's pretty cool. How do you spell that? Pardon me? How do you spell that? O-L-A-R-K. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay, well, thank you very much. Good. No questions. <clears throat> What's your Facebook page? I can't read. It. Uh, <coughs> okay, it's Catherine Aguali. Yeah, that's my name. So, Facebook, Facebook page slash Catherine Aguali. Any other thing? How, how do you spell that after Catherine? Okay, Catherine C A. It's on our website too. Then Aguali, E G W A L I. Yeah. Any other questions? Anyway, I can help you? Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I'll just on. Uh,